Yeah, the tropics are active and we're bound to see more in the coming weeks, more hurricanes that is. And as we continue to track Dorian, some are wondering why we categorize hurricanes only by the number five. We're connecting the dots. As Dorian continues to march on, some are saying we have to make changes to the way we label hurricanes. Let's connect the dots. Right now, hurricanes can be anywhere from a category one to a category five. The ranking is called the Saffir Simpson scale and is based on wind speed. Any hurricane with sustained winds above 155 miles per hour is a Category 5. But as one meteorologist pointed out over the weekend, if you follow the scale's pattern, a Category 6 would be anything above 182 miles per hour. On Sunday, Dorian sustained winds topped out at 185 miles per hour, a near historic storm for the Atlantic Ocean. So why not create a Category 6? Critics say by definition a Category 5 is utter devastation and you can't do much worse than that. Supporters say it's needed because they claim climate change will result in stronger and stronger storms that need to be labeled as such. So far, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is staying quiet as the eye of a hurricane on the whole debate. And likely will remain quiet as well. Dorian now down to a category one. The winds now at about 90 miles per hour, moving to the northeast at 14 miles per hour. So it is picking up some forward speed as it continues to move through the outer banks of North Carolina and will continue to head out to sea, but not before battering the Del Marva Peninsula and into Virginia Beach uh, today. In fact, they have a tornado watch up there right now. Lots of heavy rain and onshore flow coming in. And so, yeah, they'll go through it today. We've